what's happening everyone, my name is Speedstreak and welcome to Speedstreak Discussions where we discuss topics relating to video games, movies, TV shows, comic books, or anything geek related. Well, looks like we got a new trailer for Ready Player One. I mean seriously, it's almost two, it's actually almost two months left till the movie comes out. I mean I'm actually pretty excited for this movie. I mean, I know I have, I did, I might have said somewhere that I have read the book and let me tell you, the book is amazing. I absolutely love it. Now, what this trailer says is that it's, it's going to be, well, it says it features some, oh, well, actually nearly all of Steven Spielberg's movies, and it was actually, it was actually thanks to Steven Spielberg that Ernest Klein created Ready Player One. And I think we're, we're going to see more of many Easter eggs and see what we else we can find and many, what, well, what other references we can find throughout this trailer and see what we can expect from Ready Player One. So I believe that's all that we could talk about before the trailer. So let's dive in and see what this trailer holds in store for us. All right, everyone, here it is, the Ready Player One See the Future trailer. And to be honest, I'm pretty excited to see how it'll, how it'll go. Okay. And it looks like it's, this scene looks a bit familiar, but I, I know, I think some of you may know what, it, what it's from. Anyways, here we go. Oh, it's E.T. Wait, was that Jaws? Oh, it's Indiana Jones. Jurassic Park. I should not have written Ready Player One if I had not grown up on that's a diet of Steven Spielberg movies. Is that Ernest Klein? Oh, that's AI. It's a different story, or I might not have written it at all. Definitely Back to the Future. His work is woven into the fabric uh, of my life. Oh, Gremlins. Everybody, I think, who dreams of making movies dreams of getting to work with him. Poltergeist and Gremlins. It's a dream come true. Cool. Seeing all these clips from different Spielberg, or Spielberg movies. When I read Ready Player One, it was the most amazing flash forward and flash back. Oh, at true the same that. Time. I was born in 2025, but I wish I'd grown up in the 1980s. Like Halliday and Morrow, hmm. and all my heroes. I suddenly saw a future that Ernest Cline, the writer of the book, envisioned. Really? It wasn't that far away from what I think is going to happen someday. Really? Oh, the stacks. I live here in Columbus, Ohio. In 2045, Columbus is the fastest growing city on Earth. Really? But it sure doesn't seem like it when you live in the stacks. Yeah. There's a dystopian society and the fabric of our economy is crumbling. It's a good time to escape. So virtual reality will be a super drug. That actually makes a good point. The missing millions. Missing not because we went anywhere. There's nowhere left to go. Nowhere except the oasis. Oh. Well, here we go. Into the oasis. Nice transition. Very careful with Ernie collaborating with me every step of the way to be able to find the movie narrative oh. inside this dense forest of Ernie's no imagination. The Artemis. Being the ultimate toy box with all the toys in the world and then playing that with one of the greatest filmmakers of all time. Oh, that's true. It results in just amazing action and such a fun adventure. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love this remix. Oh. is such a visionary and I think has seen the future before any of us possibly Oh yeah, that was cool. Oh yes. Oh, this is too cool. Oh, I love That is really cool. I can't wait for it. Man, that 
that is really cool. I mean, we, we, saw, we see different clips of Steven Spielberg's movies from the past, and many of them I, I do I really liked, and I, I most of them I, I a lot of them I I have watched, but not all of them. But still, it, Steven Spielberg is a genius, and I believe that he will do a really good job with Ready Player One. Okay then, let's break it down. Oh wait, and also there's also some other videos that are on. I think, well, I believe are on Instagram on the Ready Player One page, and I know I am, I know I am, shown them on this video yet, but go check them out. Okay, now let's get, now let's break this trailer down. From the start of the trailer, we see clips of Steven Spielberg's movies, including Jaws, E.T., The Goonies, Indiana Jones, Jurassic Park, AI, Poltergeist, Gremlins, and of course, Back to the Future. All the while, we hear Ernest Cline narrating that if it weren't for Steven Spielberg, he wouldn't have written Ready Player One. We see Steven Spielberg back when he was at Comic-Con 2017, as he narrates that Ready Player One is the most amazing flash-forward and flashback at the same time. He also said that he suddenly saw the future that Ernest Cline had envisioned and said that it wasn't far away from what he thinks is going to happen someday. If you think about it, it does seem pretty grim because in the novel, it takes place in a dystopian future, which does not sound very bright. As we see Wade, we see more of the stacks as he explains he was born in 2025, wishes he was born in the 1980s like Halliday and Morrow, that Columbus, Ohio is the largest growing city, and that there is nowhere else to go except the Oasis. It cuts back to Spielberg saying that because of the dystopian world and the failing economy, it is a good time to escape to the Oasis. After Wade enters the Oasis, he walks into a building called Holiday Journals, which I believe contains everything about Holiday, as well as plenty of old video game arcades, on, as you can see on the top left. During this, Spielberg explained, I was very careful with Ernie Clyde collaborating with me every step of the way. He's profound imagination. When you think about it, if you compare Halliday's journals with Ernest Cline's imagination, they nearly parallel each other. As we see Artemis and Parzival enter their vehicles for the race, aka Artemis with Kaneda's bike from Akira and Parzival with the Back to the Future DeLorean, we see Cline stating the Oasis being the ultimate toy box with all the toys in the world and playing that with one of the greatest filmmakers of all time, it results in just amazing action and such a fun adventure. We soon get more scenes of the race, Parzival entering Marl's party, Parzival with the bronze key, and Wade and Artemis in both real life and in the Oasis. As it shows IOI and the Sixers, aka the Suxers, Spielberg stated, Ernest Klein is such a visionary and I think he's seen the future before any of us possibly could even imagine it. We soon get an epic shot of the DeLorean time machine and Wade running towards to one part of the stacks before it blows up. From what I can tell from this trailer, Ready Player One sounds and looks breathtaking. I heard that some people are concerned with how much anime is going to be in the movie to the Iron Giant replacing Ultraman, but I'm sure they'll give pr plenty of references. I also heard somewhere that Ernest Klein is writing a sequel for Ready Player One, but he hasn't given that much information about it, but we'll find out soon enough. Anyways, I can't wait for Ready Player One and can't wait to see what happens in two months. So that was my reaction and thoughts about the newest Ready Player One trailer. I mean, what do you guys think? Are you excited about the movie? What are your thoughts about this trailer? I mean, have, have you read the book yet? If you haven't, go check it out. I mean, seriously, it is one of the best books out there. I mean, what, are, what are your thoughts about the changes between the movie and the book? Well, let me know in the comment section down below. So that's all the time I have for today for this video, but don't go anywhere, we still have plenty of news, topics, and updates to discuss soon. So stay tuned for more. So, thank you all so much for watching, and if you like this video, don't forget to super smash that like button, and leave a comment down below to see what you think about this video, and don't forget to share with a friend if you want to, and be sure to subscribe and click that little notification bell to keep updated for the latest content. So once again, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Peace,